Hi, I'm Sherman Snyder with MLC CAD Systems. Next, we're going to talk about view sheets inside of Mastercam 2023 and how we now have the view sheet groups. And right off the bat, we see inside of our solids manager to the left here that we have quite a few different assemblies inside of Mastercam. And you can see uh, they are actually nested as well for the components inside of here. But I want to go ahead and add a new component inside of here that actually has view sheets in it as well. The very first thing I'm going to do is go to file and I'm going to merge our shaft bearing gear assembly inside of this uh, master cam file here. So I'm going to say open and right off the bat, if I zoom in, we can now see that shaft assembly that's been brought in to the wheel to the left. Now, the cool thing about this is I can go over to the merge pattern dialog and inside of this dialog, I have a view sheets merge view sheets option. And if you notice towards the bottom, I don't have any view sheets. I'm going to go ahead and turn this option on. Inside of this option, Mastercam is going to import the view sheets that come from the previous part file that we just merged in. As we can see here, I have the different components and I have the full assembly as well. I'm going to go ahead and say green check OK on this. And let's, let's label the view sheet one here. We'll say uh, this is going to be our main view sheet, main VS. And I want to talk about grouping the view sheets inside of Mastercam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the full assembly and holding down control, I'm going to select the other components as well that reside inside of that assembly here. Next, I'm going to right click. And when you right click, we have this group option now and I could say new group. And I'm going to call this shaft assembly. And just below this, we can also color code this particular view sheet. I'm going to go ahead and set it for a color of 12, which is going to give us the red color here. And I'm going to green check OK. Once I green check again, we can now see the full assembly here that reside under this group, signified by the little folder on the view sheet. And we notice that I can expand or hide all components under this particular group. So now we have these components nested under this particular view sheet group. 